right. Oh, I opened it from the bottom. But it doesn't matter. All right. You got a decent little picture on the box showing your device. Um, 165 watts. That is a huge claim to make. USB-C, PD 3.1, um, Quick Charge 3.0. All right. Lots of fancy stuff. Now, this is pretty big. Like, most of the ones I have are smaller, way more compact. Decent looking little cable that came with it also. It says 140 watts on there. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh, and of course, a manual. Uh, plug it in and plug your device in, right? Yes. So if you could see, sorry, um, you got a hundred watt at the top, and then the second USB-C is only going to do 35 as well as a 30 watt A. I'm not even going to waste you guys time with an A testing because you know you pretty much know what that's about. It's only going to give you that five volts. Um, I have had a couple that exceed the five volts. I guess I should put more stock into it than I do. But uh, let me get tested testers hooked up all right uh i'm gonna test uh, uh an rc charge device plugged in oh this usb cable that it came with is pretty tight hold on all right i'm gonna plug into the all right the charger came right on It's looking like it'll charge pretty good. It jumped up to 20 volts. That's a positive sign. Let me get a battery hooked up. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. So, I got it charging an RC battery at the highest amp load. Six amps on the charger. Um, it jumped up to 3.3433. 3. Um, it's never dropped below 20 volts ever. That is very impressive right off the top. Most chargers don't steadily put out like this. And this is stably charging a battery. It's not shutting down the charger I just tested a house um, you know a, a plug for the home that plugs in the mains in the uh, outlet and it didn't put out nowhere near this impressive so let me try putting another load on that 30 amp outlet and see what we get we might overload it but let's see what it does okay as soon as I plug the second charger in it did reset everything so uh, let's just get it started again see if we can get some amps going And now I'm going to go ahead and get the other battery plugged in. Alright, so I'm going to get the battery started at 1 amp. Just to see if we have a major shutdown or... Alright, looks like the battery successfully charging. 1 amp is not much demand to ask, so alright, let's uh, stop it. 2 amps. Still holding steady. And I'm not testing the battery charger or the outlet that I'm currently on. I'm testing to see if your main outlet, your hundreds watt jobby, falls out if the other one is getting some demand. All right, that's holding at two amps. Let's uh, stop it. Three amps. Bigger, bigger demand, which would be two, three amp loads on this one device. And it looks like it's holding. I don't, I don't know if it'll do a whole battery worth. But this tells me I could charge two batteries on on this one device at one time at very high amp rate. So that is very encouraging. Let's uh, push my luck. <coughs> I'm charging the other one at six amps. So I'm gonna shut it down. Go to six amps. Boom. It should definitely shut out at this point. Oh my goodness! It's not shutting out. It's holding. This is ludicrous. I'm using six amps on two. Six amps. Six amps on two RC chargers. And I don't have voltage drop. I don't have the unit resetting. This is a beast. I love it. Guys, if you need one that does high power, look no further. This one does it. And I have been looking for something to put out this type of load forever. And thank you, it does.